Brothers and sisters, as surely as the Lord has inspired more missionaries to serve, He is also awakening the minds and opening the hearts of more good and honest people to receive His missionaries. You already know them, or will know them. They are in your family or live in your neighborhood. They walk past you on the street, sit by you in school, and connect with you online. You can help answer their questions. In your everyday conversations, you can add to their faith in Christ. You, too, are an important part of this unfolding miracle. As we live the gospel, we share it. Others feel something different about us. They want to know why we are so happy, confident, and full of life. The more they get to know us, the more they desire what we have. The Savior taught, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. In Brooksville, Florida, Brother Jimmy Benchivango, a recent convert, saw the gospel in action in the lives of a member family and desired those blessings for himself. I was going through some difficulties in my, my life and uh, really didn't know which way to turn. In his time of need, Brother Benchivango took a job working in his brother-in-law's carpentry business. Brother and Sister Mojica had joined the church 15 years previous. It was within the first three days that he was just grasping for the gospel. Um, he just wanted to hear more and more. And the more he heard, the more it touched his heart and the more I could see light in his eyes. I started to feel the, the spirit and the spirit is strong in this house. And it's strong in my sister and strong in my brother-in-law. And it started becoming stronger with me. And I started to feel it. I think it was one week later is when we invited the missionaries. Because I had asked Jimmy, if um, he would like to take the discussions. He didn't hesitate. He said, absolutely. We started teaching Jimmy the first lesson and we invited him to baptism and he was so excited. Um, everything that we talked about, he really just felt it. And he knew that what we were telling him was true and he was ready to dive in completely. Brother Mejica, I think, was the most important part and um, he answered all of Jimmy's questions. Whenever he had something, he would tell Brother Mejica, and Brother Mejica would explain a concept, and then we kind of followed up with our lesson. We had some really good discussions. We had uh, my son and my daughter-in-law would sit with us, and, and we would really go over a lot, of, a lot of things that most people aren't ready to hear right away, but he was just so absorbent. And I was eager to learn more, and, and they would tell me more. And we would spend our days and nights just casually talking about different things. And the desire he had to, to live it was enlightening. He and was then, like a sponge. Yeah, he just wanted more and more. I was baptized on February 24th of this year, and it was a day that I've been looking forward to for a, a long time. And I couldn't wait to get under the water fast enough. And I just came up with such a wonderful, wonderful feeling that it, my face was wet partially from being in the water and partially from crying. It truly shows that it doesn't have to come from the bishop or the, the war mission leader or even the, the missionaries serving in our ward, but the members have such a power or have such power to, to help others to come under Christ and the love of the Mojicas and the, the testimony and their, the strength they, they gave Jimmy. That made the difference. That is truly that helped Jimmy to have a change of heart and to come unto Christ.